should be there because it's hard to express the grandeur and, and the, the magnificence of Antarctica in a photograph, in a book, even in a documentary. trip so far, I'm trying to stay on these halls at the moment. Just the knowing of where you're going, having a direction, that's the transformation I've seen in Kath particularly over the last six months, but culminating this trip, uh, it looks like today with the horse riding you've got a bit more too. Thanks. has grown the most over this trip? We've all grown uh, and it's hard for me to say one single person has grown the most. I know as a group we've grown enormously. I think that eight months ago people were strangers to each other. So to be such friends now, um, committed friends, I think for a lifetime is pretty special and you know, to play a role in that. And the horses were all so gorgeous. The horse riding was surprisingly enjoyable after the initial fears and anticipations. That was great. Uh, Self-confidence, I think, is the main thing to take home. Uh, just a lot of positive attitude and that you can achieve anything that you want to do in life. Yeah. I've been eating them, but he's been collecting them. He hasn't eaten any, so I'm not too sure <laughs> if it's all right or not. Great, especially if you look out there, we went up through these tiny trails and the horses are very placid and they've obviously done this route before, so it was a beautiful experience. The wildness, the difference, you know, ice and, and the animals, you know, penguin, I mean, you see them on TV, but seeing them real on ice is something uh, different, you know. Look, you've seen, you've seen other people who have been to Antarctica in this town and they have not experienced a fraction of what we've experienced. I mean, this is the real deal. This is Antarctica on the frontier, on the ice, ice climbing, kayaking, camping, and then, you know, for example, here, a horse riding. There's no horse ride you can do in Australia or any other country which is which is raw and as real as this. I mean, these people have been riding these real, very well-trained horses. What a way to round up an amazing, fantastic, life-changing trip. Like all people who come on this trip, there have been challenges of some form or another. It could be health, it could be uh, politics, it could be, you know, geography, just could be a whole lot of different challenges. Yet, despite those, you met the challenge. You know, they all said I was stupid to come. You know, it's a waste of money. Why don't you go to Europe and, you know, go shopping? Well, I can shop anytime. I can't go to Antarctica and, you know, spend time with great people and learn heaps of things and conquer my fears. I can't do that, you know. It's been a fantastic trip in every way. Everything with people, everything we've done. It's been a great, great time. No, actually, I grew up on a farm, so I rode lots of horses till I was about 13. Well, I nearly got killed off one, never been on one since. So it's the first time back That's after a good horse, 24 years. <laughs> Get out.
I haven't got my license, but don't tell the horse that, mate. <laughs> um, it hurt my nads a lot. <laughs> no, it was actually pretty fun. It's been an adventure. I had a little bit of a phobia before, so something conquered. I think it's his best trip ever. I think it's just been fun. Extremely rewarding. Just there's things I'd never do anywhere else. Amazing. Everything we do is uniquely designed to challenge the individual to participate at every level, so that at every stage they have the opportunity to grow, see that frontier, meet that frontier, and grow beyond it. That way, you grow people bigger than they were before. But they always were big; they just didn't know it. I've been doing it for a while, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, Antarctica 2010, I think we'd all agree it's been a success. It's been came, we saw, we conquered. We came, we saw, we conquered. 2011, Antarctica, bring it on. Seriously, we're getting off the boat now, they've already taken the bags away. Really? Yeah. fur seals. It's not nice. Antarctica is a natural bird. <laughs> my morning couldn't get any worse. I can't present to camera and now I'm wet in my dry clothes. Oh, I'm sick and I'm throttling someone. I will. I'm just gonna... You bitch! Good evening adventurers. Good evening adventurers. I know that you are, com you are committed adventurers, committed to your future. To that end, I encourage you to join me in the lecture room at 8.45, 8.45, which is 10 minutes from now. Bring your Lucky Life formula.